Hey guys, well, it's video number two. I thought I would get a head start and start posting. Um, today I went for my TB test, which if anyone doesn't know what that is, it's getting a needle under your top, top few layers of your skin and they insert a medication and you have to go back in two days to see if the bubble um, of the fluid that they put on your skin is irritated or infected to see if you have to, uh, TB, tuberculosis. Um, it's part of the requisitions that I have to follow in order to follow the guidelines with the government to pay for all these expensive medications that I have to take. So, I don't know if you can see my arm. It's got a little bit of a blood spot on it, but no reaction, so it's probably negative, which is good. <laughs> Um, so I have to go Wednesday for the results to get that taken care of and then on Thursday I have to go for a chest x-ray. So it's just more procedures and protocols that I have to follow in order to start my new medication which could take as little as a few weeks. So I thought I would up to date you on today's processes because there's more to come. Um, and since I couldn't take my video camera with me to um, the rooms to do my MRIs and my brain scans on Saturday in Toronto, I'm going to do a video about um, the things that went on during that visit as well um, to kind of explain a little bit. I'm part of a research group with this new medication since it's just released and it's all new to me as well. So I went through a lot of pain tolerance and a bunch of things that, to go through to establish what's going to happen with the new medication. So it's more like following before and after to see what my brain activity looks like before the medication, during the medication, and then after medication. So it's kind of cool. I mean, they pay you and you get a copy of your brain exam and scans, so it's kind of neat. But I was there for five and a half hours on Saturday and it was a long day. I was exhausted and being inflicted with pain all day isn't something that most people would find amusing. It really wasn't amusing, more annoying if anything. So I can honestly say um, I'm not looking forward to going back to do it again. Um, so I'm just enjoying the weather today, my cat in the window of course. Um, I'm excited to do this YouTube channel. Um, I was really nervous at first because I'm usually not the person taking video footage of themselves. I'm usually the one taking video footage of everyone else and taking pictures. So this is new for me, but it's gonna give me something to maybe motivate others going through this disease and also friends and family that may not be as close and understand what I'm going through. I look fine on the outside, but the struggles that I'm dealing with every day, no one else really sees. Plus I do hide my pain tolerance quite well. Um, I, I'm enjoying how this this journey is very stressful, I can honestly say that, but I'm a very positive person on the outside. So I do handle things differently. I'm not a very negative person, but I do keep my negativity and my moments like that to myself. Um, I handle them a lot more when my son's sleeping, or I guess if I'm watching a really sappy movie, it makes me more emotional too, because I'm thinking about a lot of other things that are going on, but I try not to. <laughs> So for people that know me, um, I'm very peppy, I'm very outgoing usually. I try not to let a lot of things get me down. Um, I'm excited to see how this YouTube journey goes because it's new for me. Thankfully my neighbor next door, uh, Megan, is in involved in YouTube and she has helped guide me through it a little bit to get me started, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to do a lot of video footage when my son's not home or I don't know, I might include a little bit of him, I'm not too sure, I kind of want to keep it more about my journey and maybe just talk a little bit about him, but I want to just kind of do a little bit of my everyday life and the things that I'm doing, as well as some of my medical procedures, my my injections to come, you know, tests and, and all that kind of stuff, so I'll keep you in the loop, um, I'm just learning at this, so bear with me, it's a gorgeous day outside. Um, I was going to video outside, but it was a little too bright, and I didn't know if it was going to show up really clear or not, so I'll have to attempt that on another day. So, yeah, so I still have to figure out some of the editing procedures here with this YouTube stuff, and uh, just get familiar and comfortable, so I'm sure that will come over time, so please bear with me. <laughs> 
So, um, yeah, you can comment anytime. You can like or subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm not going to tell a lot of close people in my life, like some, but um, I'm going to also branch it out to some of the people that I talk to from the U.S. on a daily basis in our groups for ankylosing spondylitis um, and rheumatoid arthritis and things like that. So I'm very excited. Um, and like I said, I'm a little bit out of my element. So this is new to me, but, um, thank you for following and thank you for being my support. If you're friends and family, thank you for being my support. If you're complete strangers and you know, this disease is only going to make my body deteriorate over time and it's going to slow me down. But for the meantime, I'm going to enjoy life to the fullest and make videos about it and just, enjoy I guess so it's it's new and it's I'm still in shock I've only had this disease for four years diagnosed but six years I've technically had it and um, yeah I'll give you more of a story um, of what's going on and how it started and things like that so if you ever have any suggestions for videos you want me to make or how to what to discuss that's always open for options as well so um, anyway, hopefully those trucks in the background don't make too much noise, and yeah, so thank you for watching. Until next time.